all right welcome back in the last uh, couple of videos we got started with deployment of our application we saw how you could uh, deploy your application from your local system and how uh, you could use deployment center uh, to integrate and configure continuous integration and delivery uh, we integrated our source code setting into github with our application with our python uh, sample python application and we were able to successfully deploy uh, the application if you go to our url you would be able to see that okay this was our sample application this was all good uh, what next uh, whenever you deploy some sort of application you got to see the logs you got to view the logs store the logs somewhere churn them out and use them for your troubleshooting and uh, that's what we're going to do today azure web apps gives you an inbuilt diagnostic capabilities which help you to debug your application whenever uh, your application is down or slow or unresponsive and you got to dig down a little deep to see the logs maybe error logs information logs or uh, whatever types of logging you want to do uh, azure web apps gives you a bunch of features to see those logs and that's what we are going to do today how you could get into the internals of your application and see your loggings in a more robust way uh, so let's get started i'm going to fire up my uh, terminal and how do you how do you see the logs the first thing the simplest way of uh, trailing see your trailing logs is via uh, azure web app cli so what i'm going to do is type in az web app log and then tail and then the name of my app which is code red app service in this case and obviously I need a resource group as well and this resource group gonna be from here I'm gonna copy the resource group paste it over here hit enter and this should start giving me some sort of uh, log basic level of logging for my application alright you could see that the it has already generated some sort of logs now if I start from here it says it's welcome with uh, the welcome message that you're connected to the logging stream and then it checks the last uptime check uh, give them some of the basic information and uh, now it uh, starts giving me some of the logs so if I hit enter and if I just try to refresh my application it should start generating some logs over here. you can see that as soon as I hit the refresh it says that okay there was a get operation performed um, and uh, and the browser was um, the the uh, the operating system was Mac and uh, it was done at this point of time now I'm try what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit the same website from my mobile phone uh, and it's going to give me some sort of logs in there as well you could see that it gives me an IP address uh, at the timing where from where my application was hit uh, what type of request was done whether it was a get put or delete since it was a get request I'm, I'm using oneplus so that's giving me oneplus um, branding of my phone as well so that's how you could generate and uh, see the logs and this is easy it is to see the logs now you could filter your logs as well you could just use the filter uh, option and just uh, type in maybe you want to see the error logs obviously we don't have any errors at the moment so that's not going to generate any logs however you could always use the filter uh, to view the uh, error or info or debug logging as well so this was about the easiest way of seeing you the trailing logs how about you wanted to see how about you wanted to download the logs how about you, you wanted to uh, zip downloads your logs so what you could do is you could simply go to your application and just type in SCM source code management and if you hit enter it's gonna take you to the console and that's what we are gonna spend a couple of minutes over here that how you could uh, use this console to uh, dig a little deeper into your application how about you wanted to download your application straight away so what you could do is you could simply copy your application 
dot net slash api slash logs slash docker and then the zip if you hit enter that's gonna download the logs for you and you can then just visualize these logs later whenever needed so this was one of the way you could uh, zip um, uh, download the zip file containing all your output for both your docker container and the docker host uh, and this is like the verbose logging of your of your detailed logging of your application now one of the other way is if you go to the your application and if you go to the deployment tools and development tools and if you go to the advanced tools you could use something called as kudu as well i told you about kudu is an open source uh, developer productivity tool developed by microsoft uh, again uh, now with kudu you could see what's happening internally within your application what kind of logs it is generating what kind of uh, platforms and variables you've been using so if you go to the, your kudu console you would see that uh, an azure app service branding and you would see a bunch of features like where your application is sitting uh, where's the temp folder and what's the build version and things like that you could see the uh, environment settings and your working directory as well now if you wanted to see uh, the deployment uh, logs you could just click over here and you could see the deployment logs if uh, there are any if uh, there aren't you could see some other uh, bunch of uh, your root side where application is uh, deployed so if you go to the www root um, you would see that your python application is sitting right over here that's the application you had and all of your code file just sits over here you've got your readme requirement.txt file and it uh, got your HTML file as well. So this is where your all your code file is sitting. Looks uh, tiny at the moment, but as your application grows, you would be able to see more uh, files, more number of files over here. You can see the current Docker logs as well, uh, which you've just downloaded. And if you go to the environment, you would see all the environment variables. Uh, now these are system variables, app settings, uh, and and all the types of variables you could see the connection string as well so all the secrets and everything kind of sits over here you could see the environment variables um, what type of path and um, and uh, the type of http ed headers and all sort of internals in information you could see over here you could go to the ssh as well and uh, take in uh, ssh get into the ssh console of your application and type in the command and see where your application is sitting uh, you could go to the site if you go to the site you would be able to see your application and if you go to www root you would see your application right over here and you could just type hit in any of the Linux command and uh, see what's happening inside your um, container as well so this is this is uh, one of the way one of the way you could get into your uh, docker container uh, into your host where our application is actually running is using the uh, web host uh, web ssh uh, now you must be wondering how do you how do you kind of get into your application you see your application is deployed this is how you kind of get into your um, terminal ssh take the ssh of your terminal and start uh, playing around and if you go to the log stream you could see some of the running logs as well just like we saw in our terminal so this is how you could uh, kind of get the background of your application how your back application is behaving in the background how it is deployed and how you could edit it how you could take the ssh of your docker container and uh, start playing around it now that was about the kudu console uh, this is absolutely necessary and helpful when you're trying to debug your application and has been really helpful in my career as well if you go to the loggings again you would see a bunch of logs again log streams and uh, app services now these logging streams are uh, pretty helpful when you want to see uh, when you don't have a terminal handy and you want to use the portal and you could see the logs right over here as well if you go to the app uh, services you could use the uh, retention as well and then if you go to the 
uh, diagnostic settings you could see all of the uh, diagnostic type of logs and uh, could add any of these diagnostic logs like the HTTP logs, console logs, app logs, audit logs and can select them and send it to any of the destination like the Azure log analytics, any of the storage account or the um, uh, event hub as well and then you could later on retain them uh, forever and then churn them out and see whenever they are helpful to you and your organization. Alright, so that was about logging. I hope this was informative. There are a bunch of features available into the logging and you don't have to uh, configure anything on your own. Everything is available. Just uh, plug and play and, and uh, start utilizing the Azure log internal logging system to have a better and robust logging of your application. I hope this was informative. Thank you.